They do not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, game shows, television shows, amusement parks, drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained. In order to eliminate this threat and to achieve their objective, the Masons have set about the boldest plan ever devised. The complete control of every aspect of human life. Your life. And the weapons they are using against you are in your very homes, entertaining you and your children, and gradually indoctrinating you without you even realizing. In today's society, people are spending more and more time engaged with modern media. These media play a significant role in providing the basis for determining an individual's view of the world. But the goal is the same, to impose their beliefs, their ideology and their objectives on you in such a way that you begin to think of your own. We are being hypnotized by people like this. The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. We're being programmed to see the world in a certain way. What's the reason you're not hearing this kind of truth on media in general is because the media is controlled. What it essentially amounts to here is that all the top media officials are members of these clubs, Council on Foreign Relations, and Tribal Organization, and the whose goal is to bring about this new world order. The 12 found it was only necessary to purchase the control of 25 of the greatest papers. There are certain people that do watch like uh, the news, which I think is rubbish as well because it, it's just empty. I mean, there's a book called Watching TV News um, by Neil Postman. Very clearly articulates the fact this guy's a PhD in communications theory at Columbia University that you don't learn anything on the news. You, in fact, are, are, are actually dumbed down. Now, many people, especially young people, accept unquestioningly the reality by the media. Popular culture, movies, television, music, carry messages about how society works and how people should behave. And so entertainment is not value free. It has ideological content. It presents a worldview that influences the people who watch the programming. Now there are two primary means by which people are manipulated and controlled. One is very simple, very basic, and that is uh, simply the control of information. Working as an editor, it was easy to see how simple it is to change the meaning of an event or change the meaning of what someone says through editing. And so uh, I was very well aware of how plastic and uh, moldable uh, media reality was. But I, I didn't fully appreciate the extent to which we are all manipulated and controlled by media, including those people who work in it. So using television as the prime example uh, of how uh, mental programming and mind control works, television it is the most powerful weapon of psychological warfare in history. In fact, the, the ultimate control is to control people without their conscious awareness. Again, television is a prime example.
Think back to whenever you have observed young children or older adults sitting, watching television. They have this glassy-eyed, vacant look in their eyes because they are in a trance state, in a hypnotic state of mind. We don't see it consciously, but subconsciously, the repeating visual pattern of the flicker induces the trance state. And that's the basic uh, principle behind the hypnotic the program, is that you uh, get the subject to focus the attention of the conscious mind on one of the five senses. So in the case of watching television, we're talking about the sense of sight and the flickering uh, uh, image. Uh, in the case of sound, uh, any repeating sound pattern will induce the trance state. Now why this is important is that we are more suggestible to mental programming during this state of mind than at any other time. We're very vulnerable to manipulation at this time because the first order of business for a propagandist or an advertiser is to create the circumstances that will induce a state of mind that is favorable to the reception of their message. And that state of mind is the hypnotic state of mind, making television extremely important in this whole process of creating a, a unified mindset among the entire population. Crook's version of the cathode ray tube would become the most fundamental component in the development of television devised 40 years later by the Scotsman John Lucky Bend. Maltese cross is an ancient emblem used by magicians, Kabbalists, royal Satanists, Nazis, and the infamous American Phi Beta Kappa secret society. Crooks managed to project a shadowy image at the other end of the cathode ray tube, which was the first ever electrically created image known to man. In his memoirs, Sir William Crookes said that it might be possible for spirits to influence streams of tiny particles, an invention which would eventually enslave and hypnotize the entire world, was inspired in part by research into the spirit world. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube is the gospel, the ultimate revelation. This tube can make or break presidents, popes, prime ministers. This tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it ever falls into the hands of the wrong people. We deal in illusions, man. None of it is true. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You eat like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. So if you want the truth, go to God. <laughs>